I want you to take this video very seriously because it is one of the best videos I have ever made up to this point. Trust me, you won't regret taking the time to watch this video. In this video, we're really getting deep into Ayano's brain, learning how it operates and how he's able to form these strategies and masterminded plans. More importantly, I'm going to provide you with practical tips and exercises that you can use to be like him. And that brings us to the White Room. We all agree that if it weren't for the White Room, Ayano Koji wouldn't be where he is now, right? Before we get into that, let me tell you something. I know you're not the least bit serious about this video because up to this point you've watched tens, if not hundreds of these types of videos with guys giving you silly advice that, although may sound fancy, you can't really use or don't know how to use. Or maybe there's a little voice inside you saying, there's no way you can reach a fictional character's level. It's just a fantasy. Sure, I can be smart, but reaching his level is impossible. If so, you're limiting yourself from reaching your full potential. We should always believe that anything is possible with the right mindset and effort. If you're not willing to put in the effort, then this video isn't for you. We aren't just wannabes. When we commit to something, we see it through no matter what. And by the time you reach the end of this video, I'll give you an arsenal of practical exercises meticulously crafted for each principle I have imparted. These exercises will enable you to apply the principles to your life with conviction and intentionality, propelling you towards the path of success and self-mastery. Embracing these practices will empower you to train yourself like Ayano Coach. So here's the training method you need to be at the top 1%. To start off, you really have to have the right knowledge. You need the right knowledge to move forward, right? Like I should work hard. But what's the thing you should work hard on? What is that thing that brings the greatest fruit? Reading? Practicing chess? Martial art? There's a super simple way to find this, you know? Brian Tracy says in one of his books, if you do what other successful people do, over and over again, nothing in the world can stop you from eventually getting the same results that they do. And I love that phrase, because it's super simple yet powerful. So in that sense, if you want to be like Ayano Koji, you have to copy his actions. The reality is that 99% of people can't do that. So what did Ayanokoji do to gain knowledge? What are some great ways to acquire valuable knowledge? Experience, reading, and analyzing our surroundings. But how do you analyze your surroundings and learn from experience? And what books should you read? I like to keep things simple. By analyzing our surroundings, we are actually trying to gather as much information as possible, interpret and explain the situation inside our mind in order to learn from it. To make it really simple for you, I'm going to share a framework that Robert Greene talks about. Basically, what he suggests is scheduling 30 minutes of your day to reflect on the previous day. Think about what you did, what you could have done differently, and ask yourself how you could have made the day more efficient. Consider what would have happened if you tried X instead of Y. Think like a strategist. Now, let's talk about books. Here we're focusing on books that forces us to think and build stronger neuron connections and pathways in our brain. You can't just passively read those words. You have to actively engage with the material, question yourself and think deeply about the concepts presented. Why is this important? How does this work? And how can I use it? If you want to challenge your brain and become smarter, this is how you do it. So, what are some books that makes us think and help our brains build stronger neurons? Books on power and politics, philosophy and well-written mystery novels. Here are some book recommendations you may want to try out. Okay, so this is an important section. You have to understand that action shapes your reality. No matter how much educational content you consume, the only thing that can truly change you is your action. So what's the most efficient way to take action? Here is a simple yet powerful framework that I personally like to use, the AAA framework. Act, assess, and adjust. Although it may sound difficult, it's actually quite easy. Here's how it works. Act. Take action on something you learned from a book or even from this video. Assess. See how it works and what response you get from the world. For example, if you've been going to the gym for six months and you've developed a six-pack, that's the response the world gave you. 
And if you didn't achieve your desired result, that's also a response, which means you need to assess your strategy and change your workout plan. Adjust. After you've formed a new strategy, adjust your gym plan accordingly and keep the triple A cycle going. How does a muscle grow? How does a gym person grow their muscles? They make their muscles hurt so that they can grow even bigger and stronger. When you work out, you actually break your muscle fibers, and then your body repairs or replaces damaged muscle fibers through a cellular process where it fuses muscle fibers together to form new muscle protein strands or myofibrils. This process makes the muscle grow thicker. This concept applies to our brains too. Are you the kind of person who reads two pages of a book and then feels overwhelmed with information and can't understand any of it? Why does that happen? Why are some people more physically attractive than us? How are they able to read 1,000 words per minute? How are they more intelligent than us? Is it naturally given to them? Of course not. There's no such thing as natural ability. That's a fantasy. That person had to pay a hard price to be able to read a 1,000 words per minute. They practice their ass off and fry their brain in the process, and it all comes down to one's mindset. If you want to be like Ayano Koji, you need to have the right mindset that makes you push yourself to your limit. Here's the mindset you should have. I recommend you write it down and read it every single day before you start your day. Forget about all your limiting beliefs for once. Your abilities are not fixed. Instead of thinking, I'm stupid, think, I just need to put a little more effort into practicing. If you find yourself overwhelmed or tired by the work, keep moving forward because it's important to push hardest when you want to quit the most because it strengthens our mind. All brains are capable of leveling up their capacity. A single replacement can change the entire course of your life. But before discussing what kind of replacement, let's clarify that I'm talking about replacements that boost our ability to compete and be the best. For instance, replacing strong beliefs with weak ones, swapping bad habits for good ones, and reading a book for 30 minutes instead of playing video games. Replacing negative things with positive ones can have a significant impact. For example, a few months ago my screen time was 9 hours a day. Once I decided to make a change, I noticed a significant improvement. I was able to save over 3,285 hours a year, which is 37.5% of a year. I used all that time to work on myself. If you're truly dedicated to self-improvement, this is an essential principle to focus on. If you don't have a notebook yet, I recommend getting one right now because this section is the most important one. If you're still watching, it means you're completely serious, and I want you to give me your full attention for a few minutes. Block off all distractions and laser. Focus on the video for a few minutes. Listen now, if you're holding the belief within you that I'm not enough, I can't be like this. This is impossible. Let me tell you a little about your capabilities. You can, literally right now, store 433 petabitties of data in one gram of your DNA. Can you imagine? 433 petabytes of data in one gram of your DNA. You can store 13.5 billion years of data inside you right now. Listen carefully to that phrase I just said. You can store 13.5 billion years of data inside you right now. That's your power, gentlemen. So when you go to read a book or think, and you find that you can't understand or comprehend and your head hurts, you have to know that it's just a mere excuse. Your abilities are far beyond what you can think of. And each time you push through the pain or discomfort, you actually build a stronger brain muscle. Each time you do something uncomfortable, your mind gets stronger and you build an iron mind. Now, there's 1% of you in the video who actually want to try these tips included here. As I promised at the beginning of the video, to make things simple for you, I've created a practice method that you can use to boost your skill. Check out the description to gain access to it.